This is Twit. It wasn't actually very long ago that Megan Maroney and I chatted about Mac Mira. It's a whiskey that was created by AI in partnership with Microsoft. I still haven't tried it yet. I don't even have it, but I, I think you can pre-order it now. Now AI is jumping into taste whiskey so we don't have to, which on second thought, maybe I don't like this at all. Huh. University of Glasgow researchers are responsible for creating an AI-driven tool that they call an artificial tongue. It's 99% effective in detecting fake whiskey. Apparently, fake uh, whiskey is a is plaguing the UK right now to the tune of around 1 billion pounds per year. Whoa. It can determine, this AI can determine differences in whiskeys that have been aged from 12 to 18 years, let's say, uh, differences between barrels that were used for aging and more. It's it's literally like like a really good whiskey taster and can, and can take a look at what may or may not be a counterfeit liquor or whiskey and no, say whether it believe. whether it's 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 promise what it promises like if it says it's an 18 year and then it tests it and it's only 12 like it can it can pull that that's out that's neat yeah pretty interesting i need to do that for all of my my drinks so i'm like <laughs> why did this have a 17 dollar price i thought you said this was 10 year right. on, let me get my tongue out <laughs> my artificial tongue <laughs> just that doesn't it, look like a tongue that looks like a computer <laughs> uh they're using it for whiskey here it could be used to taste pretty much any liquid uh, it could be used for food safety testing, Ooh. let's say, security applications, quality control. Researchers tested a number of whiskeys with the system. I'm sure they didn't drink any of it themselves. <laughs> oh, no. So so it's like when kings used to have people that tasted their food before they ate it. We now have a robot right. to do that for us. Right. Robot! Taste my whiskey. Does this have peanuts in it? I am allergic. <laughs> uh, so obviously good whiskey is a valuable commodity. Um, so therein lies the rub, you know, with it being a big problem with counterfeiting. This is just something I never really was aware of. I didn't realize whiskey was being counterfeited so much. Yeah. There was a Scottish whiskey broker, Rare Whiskey 101, that conducted a study using 55 bottles of rare scotch just last year. They acquired these uh, bottles from auctions, from private collections, from retailers. One third of the bottles contained fakes, oh, either fake wow. whiskeys or whiskeys that weren't distilled in the year that was declared. So apparently this is like a big thing and we need robots to solve the problem. And I, don't, I think it also just points to the fact that we don't really know. Like, you right. know, human, they're like, mm, does it matter? I can tell this is a 20. And yeah, it doesn't matter because our tongues apparently can't tell the difference. At the end of the day, does it matter? Is it valuable to you to have this whiskey and to drink it and go, wow, that tastes really good. I think I'll drink it tomorrow. And the moment you realize that thing you liked was actually a 12 year and not an 18 year, oh. do you like it less now? Feed I think for a lot animals. of people, probably they do just by knowing that. They're yeah. like, oh, well then it's swill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Get this away from me. For me, I'm like, oh, still tastes good. Yeah, exactly. I'm, good. I'm, I'm all right with that.